B.Tech, Mechanical Engineer and Diploma in Delta Healing, Postgraduate Diploma in Health, Corporate Trainer for 20 years and addressed more than 100 national conference of engineering doctors and etc. Conductor session in countries of Asia, Africa and Middle Coast. Associated with the Brahma Kumaris for the last 27 years. He has also appeared on numerous television talk show. He has trained many of students of IIT and IIM. He has delivered inspirational speech for many MNC governmental and non-governmental organizations and also in India, Pakistan, China border. Awarded with the Sunrise Peace Award by Sunrise Peace Mission. Honored by the Rotary Club with the Award of Excellence and Nation Builder Award. This is the Pala Awards. Police kaha, students kaha, peri peri a top most kaha na pani kangela na brother no dey sevey vandu senje te kranga. Apni patta na mak or speaker na mak ini vandu kranga apina na marumbe ellar me blessed da ani ki. So topic pating apina celebrating Monday. Podhuvave ellar toko Sunday leave mudust Monday kalle lena idu ellar toko me. Pono valley ke pono kariyeng say no apniyeng the starting trouble andro mind la so how to celebrating Monday apniyeng the topic tom balaga brother ida kar kar ara Om Shanti can I request all of you to share this beautiful greetings of peace of Om Shanti with me Om Shanti Good morning Vanakkam Namaskaram and Jai Hind so first of all, it's a great pleasure to see all of you on this beautiful Sunday morning. And I understand that you were there the entire day. So on behalf of the Brahma Kumaris and the Happy Village Retreat Center, I extend a very, very warm, a friendly and a cordial welcome to each and every one of you. How many of you are coming to this retreat center for the first time? Raise up your hands. Great, great. In fact, when I received this topic from the organizers celebrating Monday, it seemed out of syllabus for me. <laughs> I said, what do you do on a celebrating Monday? Please explain. So then uh, they explained to me, till Sunday it's okay. The moment we move towards Sunday night and the next day morning, you have to go to the office. So basically, nobody wants to get up after a beautiful weekend. Okay. So how do you celebrate the new weekend with lots of love, lots of happiness and lots of anandam? That's the topic. I would love to interact with you and I hope I'll do justice to the topic. And maybe you can also share your experiences also. I understand many of you are working professionals and the ladies, they may be working, but the greatest work is in the home sweet home. Yeah, you agree? Yeah. And then you have to make your children uh, get up in the morning and uh, ask them to go to the school college. We also have the honor of the presence of the Honorable Station Director of Madras Atomic Power Station, my very good friend Sudhir Shalke, sir. Can we welcome him with a thunderous round of applause? Maybe in the afternoon session he will share his experiences because he also has to go to the office on Monday morning, right? <laughs> And he is a station director. We met uh, each other maybe 15 years before. And basically I had come to Chennai on his invitation. We were doing an entire day program yesterday for the young scientists and engineers who have been uh, newly recruited. And tomorrow and day after tomorrow, tomorrow is a Monday, so I'll have a more challenging time to interact with them. So when I received this topic, I thought, okay, let me do justice. So I received, a, I was asking some of my professionals, uh, what is your feelings of a Monday? Because then they, one of my good friend who works in the Indian Navy, he shared with me a very wonderful photograph. Some of you might have seen this photograph before, but this is the photograph. <laughs> uh, many of you might have gone through this photograph. So today is Sunday, you know. We are still, but today night, you know, what is the situation that happens? Oh, look at the child, Sunday night, Monday, you read the emotions, you know, <laughs> Tuesday, <laughs> Wednesday, we are getting so frustrated. 
थर्सडे वी आर लिटरल इन टीयर्स क्या जीवन है वॉट इज दिस लाइफ बाबा फ्राइडे वी आर सो एग्जॉस्टेड लुक एट आर फेस ऑन सैटरडे then sunday you know this was what the message the organizers told me the daily job mood set work so one of the message is we should actually be a karma yogi but we are always doing 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 and it leads to a lot of stress so yesterday you had i was going through your schedule you had lot of sessions on meditation right i appreciate the amount of work pressure that you have managing your family managing your profession managing everything it's no doubt a very very great challenge so before we actually go on this celebration right i will introduce you to one spiritual personality because yesterday is all about spirituality spirituality meditation and you may say what spirituality and meditation has to do with our daily but more or less by yesterday's evening session you might have understood a little bit but spirituality is not just theory spirituality is very much required in today's age so i'll introduce you to a wonderful spiritual personality that how meditation helps us because when you are in a state of pressure when you are in a state of stress the first effect is on our own health all of you agree yes or no yes so our own body does not work so when a body itself which is the most important machine we all engineers understand and agree with it so our own machine is not working how do we expect you know our work to be done so meditation is a mechanism which teaches us that even while we are very very busy how can you be easy it also teaches us there is lot of pressure but how do we manage our pressure with pleasure valare kodle pressure undu pressure valare kodle aanandam aitu how do we work that's very very important so since you were understanding meditation so first how does meditation helps us to manage stress that's what we are going to listen and these days because of high level of stress people are subjected to various kind of lifestyle disorders like bp diabetes and one of the area is heart attacks okay so let's see a very wonderful personality if he tells yes what brahma kumari is telling about meditation makes sense and uh, that particular spiritual personality i'm sure all of you would be very happy to listen to him because he is also an engineer and a scientist like all of you so when i bring that personality with you your face will have a 32 vinaka smile right and when he comes i would want you to welcome him with a thunderous round of clapping and applause sir please come sir i do not know where sir is right now but you will all be very happy to see him can we clap His Excellency the ex president of India Bharat Ratna late Dr Kalam sir and I'm very happy to tell you to share with you that Dr Kalam when he was with the as the director of DRDO and that's Defence Research Development Organisation he initiated a research project to help the most stressed out professions of our country I appreciate and acknowledge all your stress but as per drdo the greatest stress is faced by the people of the police the military and the paramilitary forces so he started how to relieve them of their stress so there was a joint research done by the drdo and the medical wing of the brahma kumari ishwari vishwavidyalaya this project started in the year 1998 and it got finished in the year 2006 and as the honorable president of india he is addressing the international congress of doctors that apart from medicine you should prescribe meditation right so i'll this is a 42 minutes presentation but i'll just touch upon some main main points many of the things which might have already been covered in yesterday's session but when scientists and engineers like all of us understand the research behind it 
so we are more convinced because we are all intellectuals logical rational minded person so here is where dr kalam is addressing let's listen for a couple of minutes his excellency president of india dr apj abdul kalam we welcome you on the occasion of inaugural function of world congress on clinical and preventive cardiology at abu road shantiwan abu road shantiwan is the headquarters of brahma kumaris where he is doing this presentation we are very grateful to you sir being with us this evening and addressing all the delegates who have come from different parts of india and the world we have already finished one day of our conference which comes this morning at 4 am this conference is a unique in its own way a conference with difference we started the meditation program in the we started with the meditation program now the comparison is telling about all the national and international faculty we will save time and i'll just share with you a couple of important points the morning at 4 o'clock sir the increase in incidence of that is probably the great increasing coronary artery disease what dr kalam writes here is globalization industrialization urbanization has led to rapid change in a lifestyle point number 2 all our healthcare systems have focused attention only on physical disease and physical body point number 3 most important mind the controller and generator of physical health disease remains untamed so you go to a doctor for whatever ailments that we have he will only analyze the physical system but no doctor tells us how to take care of the mind and maybe that's what we were learning right from yesterday Let's, let's see the research. Here, Dr. Kalam says health means four dimensions: physical, mental, social, and the last statement is very important, my dear sweet friends. A fourth dimension of spiritual well-being should be added, right? Okay. Now let's see the research and the results. Kalam, any hospitals and research. That's why you are all in Shanti Bhavan. That's why you are in Shanti Bhavan. Now, keeping this in mind, the DRDO took the initiative of the formulating a project in collaboration with Global Hospital and Research Center, Mount Abu, an institution of the Brahma Kumaris. They added the fourth dimension of the spiritual health to take care of total heart health. In addition, this project involves. So, this is the research. Okay. Now, last one beautiful slide you have. Now, this is a very interesting slide. What Dr. Kalam says is, sitting over here, whatever I am thinking, actually I am communicating to my fifty to sixty trillion cells of the body. Correct. So, actually, the first the impact is on a physical system itself. Now, let's see the results. The consequences and how they. Themselves can control or reverse in mount up. See the requirement of Brahma Kumaris has got a one week uh, program. So yesterday you started. Today is your second day. If you go back to your places of work, your residence, and you complete this one week course. So here is what Dr. Kalam is telling the results. Angiographic evaluation within seven days. Eight days to not occur. mark reduction in our medicines the drug score the symptom score improvement in exercise tolerance stress hormone profile lipid profile and psychological profile within one week this uh, this was a figure of 2006 and we experimented it approximately more than 250 patients today we are speaking about 2023 every year we have this kind of workshops in mount tabu now let's see the graphical evaluation the cardiologist decreased marked the rhythmic and when their angiographies were reduced, what we can do from here where do we mr dindal samdani male 52 years 98 he had come to us type a personality right and people who are type a personality are very successful people swaminathan is also type a personality 
And for type A personality, you need to have three qualities. Right? For success. I'll tell you these three qualities. I would be very happy if you have the quality, you should raise up your hand. And I want maximum of you to join the wonderful successful quality club of Swaminathan. Okay? How many of you, my dear sweet friends sitting over here, you love discipline and punctuality very much? Raise up your hand. Wow. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very nice. How many of you would like your work to be very systematic, organized, perfect? Wow, very good, very good. So sweet of you. Now I'll tell you the third criteria. If you have not raised your hand in either of the two, I want every one of you to raise in the third one. How many of you like Swachh Bharat campaign? Everything should be clean, the road should be clean, the street should be clean, platform, railway station should be clean. Raise up your hand. Very good, very good, right. Now I'll tell you the results. My dear friends, out of the three, even if you have raised even once, you are a probable case for heart attack. Heart attack zarur aega. Be ready for it. Eh? Huh? Yes, yes. Meet a good cardiologist in Chennai, take his phone number, keep it. You can keep some medicines also. Kabhi tak ho sakta hai. Sir, what are you telling? Hello, hello. Don't get me wrong. Don't misunderstand me. All the three qualities that you have is very beautiful qualities. Please sustain it. That's very much required for professional success. Right? Punctuality is a good habit, Baba. What's wrong in it? Cleanliness is next to godliness. What's wrong? And most important is our work should be perfect, organized, systematic. If you have these three qualities, you will not suffer heart attack. Yourself and Swami Bhai will get heart attack when I expect the whole world to be like me. Then I will receive heart attack. That's the problem. So my dear friends, right, if you have to celebrate life, what is very very important and that's what I have seen something at the Brahma Kumari Svidyale. You have to get work done. You also have to work but without stress and that's the knack of it. For example, I am a type A personality. So one thing as you all like it, I also like punctuality discipline very much. You told me 7 o'clock, I was here at 6.55. Because I know 3 or 4 minutes I will be there. That's how, you know, that's a beautiful quality. So I used to get literally angry yeah, when my students come late in my class. Because uh, previously I was working as a faculty in Mumbai University. So when they used to come late, I used to literally shout, why did you come late? Punctuality, discipline, very important in your life. How will you become an effective engineer? But when I joined this DRDO project, the doctors with lots of love told me, mm. if you are getting angry, whether things work or not, your heart will stop working. Now it's your choice. I said, but how do we make them? And then I made a dialogue in Hindi. Sir, aapne suna nahi, loha lohe ko katta hai, sir. It's the iron that cuts the iron. So Mumbai engineering children, until unless you don't shout, they will not work. So Dr. Satish Gupta was the project head of this particular project. With lots of love, he said, what did you study, by the way? I said, I studied engineering. Then he said, you did not understand metallurgy. My God, Dr. Sahib, you explain metallurgy to me. So the doctor told me in Hindi, Swami bhai, loha lohe ko kaatta hai, lekin thanda loha garam lohe ko kaatta hai. It is a cold iron that cuts the hot iron. I understood the message. The next day when I reached my classroom and if any student comes late with lots of love, I kept my hand on my heart because doctor told me heart attack is very painful. And the same dialogue which I used to shout, I started telling it with love. My dear boy, why did you come late? Punctuality discipline very important in your life. How will you become an effective engineer? Yes. You should get work done, but not at the cost of your own health. If your own system is not working. So tomorrow it's Monday. <laughs> right? So let's celebrate this month. And uh, to celebrate Monday, we should celebrate the Sunday. Every second of our life. So, since the topic is... Mr. Dindal Samdhani, male 52 years, 98 he had come to us with so much of arteries blocked. Type A personality. For every small thing getting irritated, angry, agitated, so much of arteries blocked. Then we told him, 
right work on to yourself become emotionally stable get work done he was a very emotionally sensitive person he started working on to himself see april 2000 majority of the arteries block got opened up without bypass surgery without open heart surgery right and this is dr kalam's presentation eh? it's a, not a whatsapp message which i'm sharing it with all of you and it was presented in various heart journals okay great having said this let's i want you to join in some kind of celebration and early morning it's a beautiful time to do some exercises right so i request all of you to sit straight it is a very beautiful exercise my dear friends all our entire body's health depends upon this acupressure points which is there in our hands okay so i'll suggest with you a very simple exercise you should keep your left hand like this just look at it otherwise your hands will pain take your index finger and i want you to tap thrice and i want you to make a statement what statement you should do hindi it is called as wah english it is called as wow it's a celebration right okay so what i want you to do is you should clap thrice and you should say wah 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 my life wah okay wah wah you should do ha ah, keep your left hand like this yeah take your index finger tap thrice wah 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 my life wah maximum people doing very good but i saw some engineers doing wah 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 my life wah no power at all no energy so i'll do the exercise once again if i see any one of you doing wah wah monday is tomorrow na sunday itself wah tomorrow i have to go wah wah so with lots of love respect and regard i'll invite you i'll hand over this bouquet to you maximum respect and i'll make you stand over here in front of everybody you have to do it ready ha chalo but i am not going to call anybody and don't worry ha azadi ka amrit mahotsav how can you force anything upon us it's your choice baba this second i am aware i'm not even aware whether i'll be able to see the suryodaya of monday yaar leo what going to the office can i live every second with absolute awareness and consciousness is what spirituality and meditation all about okay so i want you to be very happy and then do it yeah left wah 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 my life wah now i see lot of power now i want you to take two fingers and say wah 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 my family wah family is also very important please do Ah, now your face is looking like Saturday. Mm, very good. So excited! Great. Thank you. Thank you for the transformation. I want you to use three fingers and say, "Wah, wah, 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 my country, wah." Yeah. Great, great, great. Four fingers. Wah, 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 wah. This beautiful nature, wah. and then five fingers you should say wah 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 the almighty wah ah uh, clap for yourself very good beautiful acha how many of you dear parents many of you are parents also i understand how many of you your parents expect that your children and grandchildren also should get up every day morning with a wah raise up your hand you expect raise up your hand ah, wow wow very loving parents eh? very good very good how many of you dear fathers and mothers expect that your child every day should say wah and go to school and college raise up your hand no papa i am just asking you na it's your expectation very good very good how many of you dear sweet loving beautiful parents and i want that on the day of the exam the son comes to you and say papa don't take tension with lots of love and anandam i'll go to the college appear the exam wah wah successful and come back you expect like that you raise up your hand wow very good you love your children so much eh very good very good very nice now last question to you how many of you my dear friends every day morning 
particularly monday morning you say wah and go to office please raise mm. oh. <laughs> uh, that yes so you ex- we expect that a child no matter what over the challenges exams are baba be stable engineering is all about balance engineering is all about control engineering is all about equilibrium if everything is okay and if i am in a state of equilibrium what's so great about it but when there is difficult challenges at that time if i am able to maintain stability control and that's what is very very important in fact we are all very very sobhagyashali that sitting in this beautiful happy village we are all happy and we could do this wah wah exercise i appreciate your stress but as part of this drdo research project for the last 20 years i have been meeting the most stressed out professions of our country indian army navy air force bsf crpf cisf nsg cbi all state police forces and some of the foreign police academy also but i'll share with you a couple of photographs just so that we appreciate their work their stress and also feel good about them and also never use the word stress in a day to day right uh, in a vocabulary also so i'll take you to some of those photographs you know this is indian navy so we at the brahma kumaris we keep on interacting with them to manage the stress so this is uh, when we went to the southern naval command at cochin so the naval commandant the you know vice admiral was very happy with the you know we went to uh their officers the staff we were actually officially deputed to train them but since we have four or five faculty members we decided to interact with their family members we went to the navy school we went to the central school interacted with the kids also so he was so happy he invited us in the admiral house and then he said uh, that what we can do in return for you so i said sir whichever industry i travel now i i go and visit the industry just for our, my understanding so i have never visited a warship so can you t- allow me to visit a warship are swami so simple he co- rang up his officer and said just make arrangements so that swami nathan and the brahma kumari team visit that warship so the next day we went to this warship myself and my team from the brahma kumaris is front of the warship so these two young naval officers so i asked them we did not have much time so we said you take us to that place in the warship where you have the maximum stress okay so inside warship is a huge place you know but they took me inside the warship there is a chamber this and I, you can see the side view of this chamber so i asked that naval officer why this chamber you have kept he said uh, this chamber we put in 3 to 4 people inside this chamber and we close it i said why do you do that baba So this so naval officer told when the ship is in the high seas because of some operational reasons or for some maintenance these people have to get down so they have to acclimatize themselves at the physical level at the mental level so is it for acclimatization what do you do baba so the naval officer informed us that we take out the oxygen from this chamber and we push in those gases which is there inside the seas i said uh, for the food he said we have got a small uh, pipe which gives them the liquid food how many days 3 days to 1 week sometimes it can extend up to 2 weeks also and then this officer told me that vice admiral asked me to certainly show this particular place because inside this particular place you cannot do any physical exercise and a place where we cannot do any physical exercise they have to be taught the mental exercises so meditation basically is a mental exercise so from the depth of the ocean i'll take you to the highest battlefield of the world so this is at the himalayas so from kashmir we went to jammu from jammu we went to leh ladakh from leh ladakh as we are going you can see that mountains there it is the world's highest battlefield it is called as the siachen glaciers so when we are moving from the leh ladakh area it is written siachen warriors welcomes you right and then we reach this is a siachen battle school we are at 12000 feet up where the soldiers and jawans have been trained 
So the yesterday, whatever you learned from meditation, I was in a capsule mode, I was interacting with them. So they took me to 18,000 feet up. Our soldiers and jawans are at 28,000 feet up. To understand 28,000 feet up, Darjeeling is 7,000 feet. So it is 4 Darjeeling. Mount Abu is 4,000 feet up. So it's 7 Mount Abus. When you take a flight from Chennai to either Mumbai or Delhi, so the maximum altitude it takes up is around 33,000 feet. But a 60-seater flight will move up till 25,000 feet. If you are in a 9-seater flight, it is around 15 to 16,000 feet up, sometimes 12,000 feet. So our soldiers and jawans are at minus 53 to minus 83 degrees centigrade. Why I showed you this photograph is, I always share this on the International Yoga Day and tell them, in the highest battlefield, to keep your system working, the body working, which exercise you would do? You cannot do walking, jogging, you cannot do any yoga sun. Pranayam to bilkul bol nahi nahi. Because there if you do pranayam, deep breathing, then there itself you have to go up. The temperature is very low. The pressure is very low. There is no oxygen content at all. So place where we cannot do any physical exercises, the only option is the mental exercises. During the COVID time, many people were dying because of the lack of oxygen in Delhi. I said, it is not the lack. There could be many reasons. But if lack of oxygen was a reason for death, then no could, nobody could have survived here in Siachen Glacier. So even if there are challenges, it was actually many people who died during that time is because of anxiety, fear. Patani oxygen, milega, nahi milega, nahi milega, milega. It's all pranayam happening. So that's what is very, very important. So my dear friends, if you have to celebrate all the challenges, you need to understand the basic formula. And I'm sure this formula might have been shared with you yesterday, directly or indirectly, that stress happens. Stress is a very beautiful formula. Outer pressure divided by inner coping ability. Whether it's a small child, whether it's a housewife, or whether it's a professional, anyone in this world, the formula remains the same. Stress happens when the numerator is more than the denominator. When the outer pressure is more than your inner coping ability. And naturally, as you move up the ladders of success, the outer pressure will keep on increasing, my dear friends. So the only option that we have is to increase the inner coping ability. So celebrating life, whether you're in office, whether you're at home, having a work-life balance of work-life integration is all about increasing the inner coping ability. And why? Which, how do you get this outer pressure? Basically, all of you scientists, engineers, managers, you are into management of resources. Correct? So I asked my MBA students in Mumbai, how do you define management? They said, sir, management is managing human resources, men, material, money, machinery and methodology. I hope all of you agree with me. This is what you do. This is the same thing which the Honorable Prime Minister and the Chief Minister also does. A typical housewife also does the same thing. We at the industry are also doing the same thing. Correct? I am sure the station director has to manage all these things. You, know, you have to do this, Baba. Okay, there will be HR department, there will be material department, there will be maintenance department. Fine, good enough. But you are responsible for it. But all this 5M can only be managed when we are able to manage the 6th M. My dear friends, which is the 6th M? Ah, correct. Well, correct. It is the mind. So I asked my Mumbai students, right from childhood till your post-graduation MBA, what percentage of the syllabus you studied about the mind? And my children are very sweet. One boy gets up and says, Sir, out of syllabus, sir, man man ke baare mein nahi And what are we learning? And what are we teaching here? Four years of engineering. The most important resource is the mind. All of you agree, dear friends? Yes. So the sixth M is the mind. But the seventh M, which is the seventh M, who manages the mind? Now don't say out of syllabus. Eh? It has been covered yesterday. <laughs> yeah, you are right. Absolutely right. The mind, who manages my own mind? 
it's a self myself that's very very important so my dear friends today your faces are very pleasant such a beautiful environment okay tomorrow monday morning how would your face be endangal onnu para tell na solunge how would your face be tomorrow monday morning eh take a photograph of the whatsapp and send it to the coordinator here and i would love to see your face then i say traveling all the way to hours yesterday myself and sudhir sir and i will be very happy i will also share my photograph and sudhir sir aap bhi apna photograph bhejna monday morning ka photograph when you are entering your office <laughs> and how should your face be ah <laughs> it should be like this so recall your childhood sweet memories na we were all like this once upon a time so i showed this photograph to my engineering students in mumbai one boy gets up and says sir is this your childhood photograph i asked him how did you come to know he said sir unka head top view aur aapka head top view same hai sir <laughs> yeah so celebration is you know how do we celebrate yesterday i was interacting with the young scientists and engineers at maps so i was telling them and now more than looking good it should be feeling good yeah feel good about yourself and more than feeling good it is being good it's being good so meditation is a journey within ourselves you have heard of this wonderful story a management guru or a mahatma guruji was explaining to his disciples about the philosophy of managing stress and he said you have got only two options the psychology of managing stress either fight or take a flight ondengil yuddham cheya alengil avadnu oduva bhago suddenly there was an earthquake bhukam so all the disciples ran away after some times the earthquake subsided so they came in and they were pleasantly surprised the guru ji is sitting very cool smiling face like this so disciples told hello hello sir a couple of minutes before you were teaching us the philosophy the psychology of managing stress either fight or take a flight okay he said yes so the disciples told in the event of an earthquake you cannot fight with an earthquake so the only option is to take a flight run away we ran away but you should walk the talk na you sitting very coolly smiling then the guruji tells in the event of an earthquake you cannot fight with an earthquake the only option is take a flight you also ran i also ran the only difference was you ran outwards and i came within myself within myself this philosophy many of you might have been experiencing and you may be experimenting it but i have a very humble request please go back and share your experiences to your children right that's very very important because after some time you may retire anyway one day you have to retire but what dr kalam has taught all of us is the effective leader is that leader who prepares the next ring of leadership and who is the next leader it is our children back home so please don't consider this as a training program for you not at all but it's very very important for your children back home in 2022 i was invited we were brahma kumaris were invited to the maharashtra vidhan sabha to speak about raj yoga so i told if, if how do we come to know that a person is healthy two things number one the body should have lot of movement you should walk you should jog you should do some exercises yoga sir please do that it's all good baba so body should have lot of lubrication lots of movement if you keep a vehicle as it is for some years the battery down ho jayega usi tarah sharir ko movement dena chahiye the body should keep on moving and the mind should be still manasu valare sthiram airikanam but if you look at the future leaders our children back home just opposite full time sitting in front of the laptop mobile computers mind huh, running here and there what when why where how and the major problem that we see with the children today is mobile phones how many of you dear parents 
are very concerned about this addiction that is taking place mobile please raise up your hand oh very good so if you come to mumbai i will take you to two universities one is i because i i belong to mumbai one is iit bombay and number two is bombay university so if you come to the campus you will see 100% of the children hooked on to the mobile 24 into 7 what about chennai children are you say me yes so whether you want to do meditation or not it's your choice but do we have a mechanism to de-addict our children right so today don't go back home and say don't use mobile phone laptop but these are all technology we should be open for it but we should train our children to master the mind so that they use it creatively constructively productively in y20 brahma kumaris was a project partner we were doing a program in mysore as part of g20 so we were we were interacting and then we said homes of our future leaders we have got a similar retreat center in mysore five days training program five days training program only those young boys and girls can join only one condition the first day when you come you should hand over your mobile and you will give, be getting a silence badge so three silence you should do one is mobile ka silence number 2 mukh ka silence and number 3 the silence of the mind so only those children who can adhere to this condition can join so when the organizers told me this condition i'll say not even one student will come and the internal i was very happy nobody would come five days rest for swaminath and very good i'll enjoy and i was pleasantly surprised more than 250 boys and girls joined i said how is this possible baba then the organizers told me the secret was 10 days before they had a similar silent retreat program for the parents and they asked the parents to hand over the mobile phones also the parents handed over the mobile phones the children attended the next retreat center so don't say go home and say practice meditation when the child comes from the college with mobile in his hand they should see the mother and the father sitting in a state of silence and meditating that request i am making from you you may not like meditation you may not be able to do meditation but for the sake of my future leaders how many of you want my want our country uh, to progress ahead raise up your hand wow very good so we are all proud of chandrayaan 3 what was the objective of chandrayaan 3 it was not to reach the moon we had already landed a first chandrayaan we moved around the second chandrayaan we landed up the objective of chandrayaan 3 was soft landing after soft landing it can take some photographs that is additional soft landing in moon when there is zero traffic we are speaking about soft landing in prithvi so much of traffic yahan pe hum log crash land ho rahe hain so meditation is basically soft landing monday morning how will you land in your office that should be reflected in our face how will you land in your home sweet home today soft land the children should see you don't give a lecture or sermon about meditation they should see the changes in you when i came from the mount abu retreat center and when i told my students okay my dear boy okay please come on time after some days uh, one of the student told sir jab se aap meditation karne lage na aap sudhar rahe ho sir you are becoming better sir every day go and practice meditation sir you are becoming better and better teacher yeah so please after some years our good friend dr s somnath will reti- retire from S- isro we want somebody to be a director aditya alwan is there now we want our children to go to mangalyaan so these are the children whom should be taught about soft landing baba we are making them intelligent but we also want to make them emotionally intelligent stable in times of failure how do, how are you stable that's very very important so my dear friends okay now the question is how celebration is all about high level of energy now i'll just in 10 minutes i'll speak to you the technical dimensions 
So I go to many engineering colleges, they're technical people, young boys and girls, very sharp, very intelligent, very creative. So explain the uh, blend between science and spirituality. How do I do that? For example, you switch on the bulb glows. Why does the bulb glow? Because there is a connection of the energy. There's a flow of electrons happens and the bulb glows. Similarly in our life, celebration is that glowing. Okay. So for example, there is a bulb. This is a tube light. The right voltage is reaching the tube light and therefore you can see light everywhere. If the correct voltage is not happening, it will happen like this. And then it will disturb all of us. So I, we say either you change the bulb or you uh, switch it off, Baba. How does this energy reach this bulb? It is coming from the transformer. What does the transformer do? Step up, yes, step down. Where does the energy reach to the transformer? From the power station. Where does the energy come from the power station? Is a source of energy. Right? So celebration is all about no matter whatever challenges, we are in a high level of positive energy. That's what celebration is all about. So I'll explain to you in a very simple technical way. And this is something I like very much to share with my technical people. Now see, you look at the left hand side. It is an inverter, blower, engine, mixer, filter. Now to all these instruments to work, it requires the correct voltage. Similarly, leave out the work at the office and home. Our own system should work. So brain works like an inverter, our lungs works like a blower, our heart works like an engine, our digestive system works like a mixer, our kidney works like a filter. Okay. Now I'll ask you my dear friends, for the heart to work perfectly, which emotion is required? Sulange. Which emotion? Happiness. Okay, okay. Okay, that's good. But heart, heart, heart. Don't mix up this answer with that question. Heart, heart. Ah, that's the right answer. Our heart requires lots of love. Yesterday I was asking uh, the engineering people there. So majority of them were North Indians. They were some Tamilians also. I said, while you're in Tamil Nadu, better learn Tamil. Then I asked them, love ko Hindi mein prem kehte, Tamil mein kya kehte? Sir, Kadal, sir, Kadal, Kadal. Huh? So our Hridhyam requests lots of Kadal. And therefore you see in the heart, I love you. Okay, happiness, I was very happy. Happiness is required in which system? Tell me. Don't say out of syllabus. Because this all system is working within you first. Brain, mm, two instruments gone, now three. Ah, somebody rightly said. Happiness is required for a digestive system. Happiness is sandosham, anandam. You say in Hindi there is a dialogue. Khushi jasi khurak nahi. Khushi means happiness. Khurak means the food. Happiness is the food. Suppose you have got so many food. Dosha also, idli also, sambar also, vada also. Everything is there. Rasam also. Ah, papadam also. Everything is there. And you are very hungry. And suddenly you receive a phone call. And the message is a very tragic message. Would you feel to eat? No. No. So our digestive system requires lots of happiness. That's very, very important. So like this, all these instruments within our system requires these emotions. You will ask me, how do you know Swami by Dr. Kalam's DRDO research? That's the reference I'm giving to you. Okay. So to raise the energy in the system, which is a transformer, Manas namre transformer anu. The mind is the transformer. So the mind is the transformer. You think good, energy step up. You think negative, energy step down. So mind is the most important resource. So, right? Mind is the transformer. The switches, the appliances is all inside the body. Mind is a transformer. Which is the power station? Hello, power station. So long, eh? With so much of respect, love. Yes, sir. Power station, sir. Ah, you have taken double promotion. Take step by step. <laughs> ah, don't jump to Supreme Soul directly. You are also very important. Tell me which is the power station. Are wa? 
please go to iit chennai eh hmm one of the best iits but even in iit mumbai iit chennai they are committing suicide because under power ne depression low flow of energy comparison competition okay, all this is fine right so the power station is the self the soul the atman the ruh so do one thing after this program na when you go back home your face will be so sparkling full of happiness so your children will say papa what happened to you your face so sparkling and smiling you will say beta i went to that retreat center na wahan par mera self activate ho gaya i understood who am i so the boy will ask papa who are you <laughs> so all of you should say make a statement in english all of you say i little louder अरे बाबा है ना डराव नहीं ना डोंट गेट एंग्री विथ लॉट्स ऑफ कादल यू से आई एड लॉट ऑफ कादल आई एम अ ट्विंकल ट्विंकल लिटिल स्टार एक्चुअली वी आर ऑल ट्विंकल ट्विंकल लिटिल स्टार्स इज अ रियलिटी ऑफ लाइफ राइट इफ पॉसिबल ना यू टेक द परमिशन ऑफ सुधीर सर स्टेशन डायरेक्टर and if they give the permission i am not very sure of the protocol but i was told last time now the maps is also asking children to come and visit the nuclear power station and see how safe it is baba it's very safe right so you can visit with your children after taking due permission and protocols right and you can ask us atomic scientists have you ever seen an atom the answer is no 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 atom nahi dekha electron proton neutron kahan se dekhoge and when i go to this uh, i've visited various power stations atomic power stations so when you speak about the atman to them they're so happy because they deal with atom and last time i was i remember so they said telling if there is an explosion atomic explosion everything will get destroyed but the atman still remains right and one of the greatest fear people have is a fear of death 100 out of 100 so seven standard basic physics all of you can repeat with me and we can revise the syllabus all of you say energy can neither be created nor destroyed i go to iits and tell them if you want to commit suicide do that azadi ka amrit mahotsav but remember seven standard basic physics we actually never die so just imagine friends atomic explosion hydrogen explosion the atman still remains and the law of conservation of energy says energy can be transferred from one human being to another human being so so the power station gets the energy from the source of energy the source of energy could be hydraulic pneumatic electrical nuclear usi tarah now this is the power of meditation For example, if you are touching ninety-one point one frequency, you are connected to the broadcasting tower. You use a remote for your TV. Where you look at some Sun TV or Asianet TV, whatever it is. So you connect. You are touching a frequency. So when you are touching a, you do not know where Sun TV's broadcasting station is. Yeah. Asianet कहाँ पर है हमको नहीं पता. But you connect a frequency. Similarly, Raj Yoga meditation says. that i am a point of light a shift of consciousness from matter to energy if you have got two wire you remove the outside and then you join in this matter is a bad conductor of spiritual energy so the moment you say i am a peaceful being i am a loveful being that's karma yogi so you are automatically automatically connected the supreme light as rightly told by the gentleman there supreme soul and then you start receiving the energy and you have got an aura all across you aura this is the aura so in the same situation same monday morning same work some people will keep on vibrating with happiness some people feeling low are same situation same office same work what's the difference baba is a difference in the energy level So I would request all of you tomorrow when you go for a Monday morning, you should have a very wonderful aura. In the next class, I'll tell you some scientific evidences of this aura. 
So I'll just take one minute and we'll wind it up with a one minute of meditation. So yesterday after the completion of that program, so the HR was giving some feedback form. And, uh, and usually what is the feedback form? And how was the faculty, whether his communication was okay or not, whether the contents was okay or not, whether the sambar served was okay or not. And these are the questions. Right? So I was telling the HR person that these days, okay, feedback is form is good enough. But these days, how do we take the feedback, you know? Thanks to young scientists and engineers, they've developed a camera. And I've got that camera with me. And I take this camera and go to various industries. For example, with the help of a camera, you can take uh, the photograph of the matter. But thanks to science and technology, they have developed a camera which can take the photograph of your energy flow. And these days we use it for human development, human recruitment, human resource training. So next time when you come to happy village, I'll bring that camera with you. Right? So morning when you come, I will take your photograph. An evening when you go back after one and a half days, I'll take your photograph, right? And then we will quantify the changes. One of my PhD student is doing this particular research in emotional and quantum intelligence. So how would, how many of you would love yourself to be photographed? Please raise up your hand. Wow, very good, very good. So do one thing, to have a good photograph, right from today, for the next 24 hours, how should your face be? <laughs> And then I'll come after three months. So till three months, be energetic, be positive. So if anything happens outside, na, just bring your mind within. I'm a point of light, very peaceful, very loveful, very happy. And today afternoon, you should listen to the experiences of Sudhir sir, a very senior scientist. And he has got an award of outstanding scientist also. Can we clap for him? Yes. Real Karma Yogi. And I'm sure many of you would be like this. You're all the role models for our future leaders. And you're very happy. We are very happy to see your presence over here. And we would be very excited if you share this knowledge, wisdom, and your experiences with others also. So the last one minute, we will do a very simple meditation. Here in meditation, what we do is, we make our mind a very good friend. Manasana namla nalluru suhurtu. Friend ko Tamil mein kya bolte? Nanban. Namla namla manasin valra sneha todo nanba maki matum. Mind should be a good friend. That's the first step. So we speak to a mind. Okay. So tell me what is the language of the mind? Manasin de bhashya andana? No, soul is the power station. I'm speaking about the, uh, the language of the mind. Manasin de bhashya. No, love is an emotion of the heart. Man. Silence. Peace is an emotion, Baba. Peace is an emotion. I asked my engineering students, what is the language of the mind? Sir, how many times we have told mind is out of syllabus, sir? Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. Tell me what is an engineer's language. Now don't say out of syllabus. What is an engineer's language? You all know that. Ah, correct answer, sir. Absolutely. The language of the mind is drawing. The language of the mind is images. And therefore, a great person, Einstein, had remarked, imagination is more powerful than knowledge. Our children, full-time TV, my laptop, mobile, the mind is not working. So we want India to progress. We want the world to progress. So imagination is more powerful than knowledge. So for the next two minutes, I will take you to a journey through the mind. Okay, you should travel through the mind. For example, if, if I say early morning sunrise. Early morning sunrise, which color? Orange. Or batao. Early morning sunrise, which color? Orange. Or, or colors. Red or yellow. Enough, enough, enough. Uh, red, orange, yellow. Uh, listening to your colors, Swami Bhai has understood at what time you get up in the morning. Mm, I understood, I understood. Azadik Amrut Mohsav, Jab Jage Tab Savera. The early morning sunrise is red in color. Slowly it goes to orange and then goes to yellow. The best thing which I liked about the Brahma Kumaris, when I went to Brahma Kumaris 27 years before, 
I was told the first session starts at morning 4 a.m. I said, my God, 4 a.m.? I sleep at 2 o'clock, Baba. Then I was very curious, what do you do? Who will get up in the morning? When I got up in the morning at 4 a.m. at the headquarters, I saw more than 6,000 people. They were there for some program. BKs, white and white. So fresh and energetic. Then I remembered my childhood teacher telling me, all of you remember that, right? You can recall. Early to bed, bolo. Early to rise makes a man and women what? Ah, very nice, sir. I'm so happy. Syllabus has not yet changed. Healthy, wealthy, wise. So here at the Brahma Kumaris, we have been trained to sleep early. Usually I sleep by 10, 30, 11 maximum. And my wake up call is 3.45 a.m. It's been so many years. So many. Now it's become a part of my lifestyle. So it's very difficult for Swami to get up in the morning at 3.45. But when I see so many people, that's called as quality circle. Kaizen. Japanese model of management. So you should have a quality circle. That's what I'm requesting you. You should bring your children into such any quality circle which you like. That's your choice. Kumar is a mechanism where every day this transformer is stepped up because by evening we would step down. That's the beautiful mechanism at the Brahma Kumaris. So last one minute and then you will have a beautiful labyrinth walk, I suppose. And let us wait for the organizers to give the statement. So whatever I say, the thought will come to your mind, you will create an image and accordingly we will walk. We will travel through the mind. Okay? Uh, relax yourself. Take a deep breath. And slowly exhale, relax. Thank you very much, my dear sweet friends, for your presence. I'll count from 9 to 0. And as we move towards 0, I want you to relax completely. Your body should become as light as cotton. 9. Very good. Relax. Relax your body completely. Very good. 8. Seven, six, relax, five, body should be as light as cotton, four, three, two, one, and zero. You're relaxed, but aware. Let's begin a beautiful journey through our mind. Sitting over here, see the early morning sunrise. Red in color. Sunrise is a symbol of hope and optimism. Now through the mind, see the rays of the sun Slowly coming to you and touching you. The rays of the sun is very important for your physical well-being. Just feel that I am healthy. Scan your system of body, every system of the body through the eyes of your mind. And just give a command. I am healthy. Every system of my body is working perfectly. Just feel that this body is like a candle, but I am the eternal flame. At the center of the forehead, see yourself a point of light, point of energy. Very peaceful, Loveful and powerful. Through the mind, get yourself connected to the supreme light. Just feel that my Father, the Almighty, the supreme light, Almighty God is a Surya. The source 
of peace, love and power. Just as you receive the rays from the physical sun, so meditation is connecting yourself to the supreme light and see the vibrations slowly coming to you and charging you. See an aura of positive energy across you. Feeling good? And in one second, reach your home sweet home. You are in front of your home sweet home. Slowly you are opening the door. You are entering your home sweet home. And your positive aura is doing the vastu healing of your home sweet home. Go close to your children. Wherever your children are there, in one second you can reach them. And bless your children with health, wealth and happiness. Now through the mind, see yourself tomorrow morning, Monday morning. With lots of positive energy you are getting up. Saying good morning to the supreme light. You are looking at your face, full of positive energy and smile. And see yourself going to your office. And as you go, feel the vibrations of the Almighty. And you have decided that whatever be the situation, I will be in control, stability and equilibrium. I would make my work a celebration. See yourself admit the people. The situation is the same. The people are the same. Nothing has changed in the weekend. But you are seeing yourself in a new avatar. And God is blessing you. With lots of gratitude. Through your mind, slowly return back. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. If your eyes are closed, my dear sweet friends, please open your eyes. Very good. Keep both your hands in front of you. See your sabhagyam in your destiny, health, wealth, happiness, lots of success. Join both the hands. Feel those vibrations. Thank you. Om Shanti.